Hi, my name is Steve Hazard. I'm with Organic Control. And I wanted to give you a few tips on releasing your praying mantids. So the praying mantid comes uh, in this cup and inside is an egg case, uh, technically known as an uthica. And so what the praying mantid does is it attaches a ball of foam onto a branch. And you'll, you can see that branch right there. And on the opposite side is the seam. And this is where the female praying mantid lays her eggs. And she lays about one to 200 eggs inside of here. So all you have to do when you bring these home is to take this ball of foam and put it in the branch of a tree like this uh, or you can hang it from a string if you have a lot of rodents in your yard or birds and that will protect uh, rodents and birds from pecking the eggs out of that seam. Or the easiest way to do it is just to leave the egg case in the cup with the lid on and put it in a windowsill in your house and where it'll get sun which is the same sun that it would get every day if we were out in the yard. But you have to keep an eye on it because as soon as the praying mantids hatch inside, they are very hungry and they will start eating each other. So you want to check it every day and as soon as you see it hatching, then you want to put it out in your yard. Praying mantids are just great to have in your yard because they don't fly away. They stay right in your yard, so they will help attack any early pests that come into your yard before they're a problem. One of the things that's really different about praying mantids is that instead of going out and looking for their food like other insects do, they like to just stay perfectly still and wait for their food to come by and then grab it. They will even change colors to blend in with their environment so they become virtually invisible to their prey. They're a lot of fun to have in your yard as well. You can even put one on your shoulder and let it ride around with you while you're gardening and then feed it like a sow bug or other insects you might find and they keep the praying mantid very happy. So if you have any other questions about praying mantids, go to our website, organiccontrol.com, send us a message. We'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you.